Hey guys. Scotty. Uh, yeah, I got my hair tied up because I'm about to go take a shower here in a bit. Um, down here, we have a new face. I didn't know what to call him, so I named him Seamus because I have no imagination and I'm a hack fraud. Anyway, Spyro. Bam. Let's run over here. Uh, yeah, peacekeepers. I actually forgot where we were. Um, we're gonna roll past that. Peacekeepers for sixteen hundred. No, no, no. Jeez, Jesus. Uh, yeah, no, no, I don't think any one thing in this game costs treasure. Other than, hey, you have to have a certain amount before you can continue. Okay. Yeah, hub world complete. Alright, and let's see here. Have we done Dry Canyon? I don't think we have. Whoosh. Look at him. I love the way he moves his little paws when he's leaning and flying. This is my favorite right here, when he's coming low. It's so cute. Look at him. Hmm. Oh, bunnies must die. Oh shit. You know, bud, you're uh, missing out on the point of a gun when you spend it long to take a shot. I mean, it's like monologuing. Just, just take the shot. There we go. Okay. And then we smash this. Where the fuck did that thief go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, you're not getting away from me. See, I don't, I don't like this, um, this thing that he's. You, you could see it. He was, he was twitching ahead. Um, not only are these guys fast, but they're actually coded so you cannot. Um, They're, they're kind of coded so you can't um, actually run up and catch them with your charge. You have to flame them. If you don't, you'll just, if you don't, you'll just spend forever chasing, chasing shadows, basically. Okay. It's Conan. Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Yeah, there's a there's a bit on this level that always used to you know get me for a good while. I'm gonna try to avoid getting uh, pinned down by it for for too long. But yeah, coming up here in a second, there's a there's a skill jump. I love how he just, like, he looks like a hawker, but when you get close, he tries to use the bird like a club. Like, what are you doing, bro? Alright. Now let's get this dragon here. Boris! My buddy. Whoa. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. 
You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. Oh. <laughs> I love how he's just not convinced. He's like, yeah, uh huh, sure, kid. Okay. Whack. Here we go. Oh man, that was close. I almost got dinged there. Ooh. All right, Sparks. Yeah, uh, we getting the we getting the turner, buddy. All right, Ivor. Is, is that you, is her bomb? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since We've known, uh, you've known, uh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is wonderful. It's, it's, it's just so, uh, charming when the old folks forget things, I guess. Uh, all right, come on, come here. What triggered that one, though? Like, yeah, because this one over here was charging me way early, considering he's you know at the back and all that. Um, I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but uh, I guess there's a fire. I I don't know. I don't leave my apartment. All these. You know, I think that Sparks is one of my favorite psychic things ever because he's just he's he's just super helpful, and he's not a burden at all when you're when you're low on your hits, and then he goes down for a while. You're like, no, Sparks, buddy, I need you. You're my you're my friend. I need you to help me collect treasure. Because you, I mean, you don't really need him, but collecting treasure is such a nightmare when you don't have him around. All right, I forgot that was a right, right. The rockets somewhere else. There we go. Ow! Remember, kids, even Spyro doesn't stand that close to explosives. Sorry, buddy. I need a key, I think, for that. Ow, you asshole! Alright, there's gotta be bunnies or something around here. Alright, that's a scorched bird. Yeah, like, if you take too many hits and Sparks uh, goes away, then, hey, you have a hard time collecting treasure because he's not there to zip over and grab it anymore. So you really do, like, there's a tangible reason for you to want to keep him around instead of just, hey, he's my, he's my psychic friend. And that that's nice how how the how the game goes. Oh, okay, you're you're in collect the bogs mode. Well, we'll just have Sparks uh, zip around and collect the bugs in a group if you get close enough. That's that's cool. It's, it's a nice quality of life improvement. Uh, there's just there's just so much about these games that the that later. On, I had a hard time finding in my games. I don't know what it is, but after after the Spyro games launched, it was like everybody suddenly stopped wanting to make uh, good, fun experiences. It's... Aha! All right. 
Clyde, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. <laughs> Flame broil with a pinch of salt. Man. That that's that's fun. Also, yeah, I just realized that I was supposed to get here from up there because for years I was trying to get to that by gliding from over there. And um well the short version of the story is you can't do that. Or you're not you're not supposed to do that rather. I think you could, um, but just like it was a it was a thing where it was technically within your distance of your, of your glide, but he'd have to get real close. And you would miss it most of the time because the chances of you actually landing that jump are super low. Okay. Yeah, yep, got my keys, and now I'm gonna come over here. Oh, hey, buddy, that was cool. Yeah. Uh, uh nope nope don't go wiggling around too much there we go yeah if you if you change direction at all you shorten the overall distance of your glide it's it's something I didn't understand as a kid and I was like why am I always missing my jumps it was very frustrating all right so we're over here and yep so we're gonna dash over here. Level complete. And Spyro's just gonna fly around being adorable because he's I don't know, he's he's just he's just the best. Look at him. He's the best boy. Ah! Gotcha. Fuckers. Yes. Hide from me. It won't do you much good, but go ahead and do it. Oh shit. Oh right, that's the boss. And then over here we have the ice caverns. See the thing is about Spyro's levels is they're all really short. The game doesn't really like waste your time by trying to get you to do random shit except for the fucking flight games, which I will never fully express my hatred of. I do not like those fucking flight games. If they weren't required for 100% completion, I wouldn't do them. Also, I want to point out real quick that these games, the Spyro games, are the games that gave me my uh, itch to 100% certain games because they actually give you a fucking percentage counter. Like... If it wasn't for Spyro having a the game is this percent complete thing, I would probably never have completed the game because I wanted that number to reach 100%. And then I found out that 100% isn't 100%. To actually properly complete the game, you need to get, what was it, honey, like 118? But yeah, like, there's, there's extra percentages you gotta get by playing the game. remember what they were though. Ulrich. Word of caution, little one. Uh -huh. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Yeah, I guess I was pointing out earlier is that Spyro's like he sounds and acts like a teenager because he kinda is. <laughs> he's 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 a child compared to these guys, and he's still 
incredibly powerful. Ow, you are a jackass, sir. Throwing snowballs and rocks in them. How dare you attack this living weapon that is also uh, conveniently very adorable. You know, dragons are terrifying creatures. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And I think, I, I haven't actually managed to be able to test this, but I think that if you get a, uh, a blue butterfly for Sparks, no matter what uh, hit he's at, he'll go straight back up to full. Again, haven't done much testing. <laughs> Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Oh man. Oh my God, these. So, I did not know for for what was it? I spent days looking through this cavern for like the last little tiny bit of treasure. I couldn't figure out where the hell it was because I just didn't realize that those were gems. I thought they were like a graphic. I think I was getting angry and like I came over here and I saw that and I got mad. And I was trying to dive for it and I accidentally bumped that. And then I went, wait a minute. And like it clicked and I just suddenly was like, oh, that's so cool. Instead of being you know, oh, how would I have figured that out? Like, it was pretty clear that I should have been able to figure it out on my own, but the fact that I was able to uh, bump into it by accident, and then, hey, look, it's the game being uh, reactive to what I'm doing. Like, I was just saying, hey, this is so cool. Fuck you. <laughs> also, I'm not sure what the story with the Norks is, because once you get rid of the gem that, uh, whoop, oh no, whoop, uh, you heard nothing, hush. Once you get rid of the gem that powers the Nork, you'd think it'd go away. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, oh, where was I? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I know that, like, for gameplay reasons, the reason that they uh, make the Norks come back after you get the treasure out of them is that the game, the gameplay loses pretty much all of its challenge once the Norks aren't there to fight. So they gotta do something to keep them around and. I don't know, I guess I just figured that, uh, sure, we'll just, we'll just have them stick around, but, like, they won't give treasure anymore, they'll give, uh, little, little life orbs. It, but, like, I would be very interested to see if there was an actual, uh, like, gameplay reason for... Why the or uh, why the Norks stick around and permeate after the source of their spell has been uh, removed? Because these guys exist exclusively uh, from the spell. Nasty Nork, the big one, used his magic to make these guys out of treasure. Or maybe these aren't the ones that are made out of treasure? I'm not sure anymore. Because they act like real creatures. They have the scarves and everything. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, alright. Um, ready for what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know how to get this kid interested. I'll tell him that he's ready, but not say what the hell is going on. That's... That's dirty. But it's it's so good. 
Okay. Foosh. This game's got me looking in corners and everywhere, just like, where, where is the thing? What am I missing? Where is it? Dragon statue. I don't think I've, I don't think I've lost more than one life while I was playing this game. For, for the stream here. For stream. For our recording here. I don't think I've missed more than just one life. And that was very early on in the playthrough. All right, now the real challenge is figuring out where the hell everything else is. Oh, never mind, there it is. Andor! Thank you for releasing me. Yeah, I think this is actually the first level in the game where the end of the level is not just straightforward. You gotta come back. Right off that cliff. Whoops. Whoop. Right. It's the armored ones that need to be slippy. Fuck you. I didn't realize the bats were actually fodder um, until I tried, like, attacking something else, I remember. Like, I, when I was first in this game, I was like, where are, are, like, the bunnies and stuff? What am I gonna use to heal sparks? And I was getting, I was actually getting kind of stressed about it. And then I realized that, oh yeah, uh, those things up there, uh. And I put it out of my mind because I was busy doing something else, and then I was trying to get, I don't know, I was trying to do some stupid thing for, hey, look, I can do it, reasons, and then I accidentally found the, uh, the bats with my flames, and then it goes, hey, yeah, uh, you, you have a butterfly now, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's so cool, I can use the bats to heal sparks, which was kind of stressful because I was going, I was not good at the game at the point, and I was getting tagged by a lot of attacks. It was very, very not cool. Oh shit. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, well, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, what do you think, Seamus? Are we done? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I, I do actually intend to get like some animations done for, for Seamus at some point, but um, for right now I don't have any editing, so he's just, like, he's there, but to move him around and do other stuff, I have to, I have to uh, do a lot of manipulating, and that's not something I should be doing when I'm playing the game. Like I have to, I have to alt tab, and then uh, OBS didn't have the, that many controls for me. So like I can, whoop, and I can pop them back up, or I can do this. But that's about it. So like I, I have to just click a button and make it go away or come back, and then for like the video thing just there, the <laughs> I have it set so it'll play the video when it comes up and then I have to make it go away and then make it come back up and then make it go away again like when when it becomes visible the audio the video plays but then I have to make the uh, source not visible and then trigger it again manually to do the thing which I don't have the same thing for Seamus over here he's just he's just fun and He's cute. Um, I, I initially had the the, uh, the artist names uh, Phobiac, and I'll I'll put a link in the in the channel later. Um, 
they initially did a design for Seamus that was way more adorable than I intended, and like he was he was all bright eyed and shiny, and he was doing a little pose. It was it was so cool, but um, it wasn't quite what I was going for. And yeah, now we have we have the grumpy badger. Uh, I I am rambling. Bye.